Hey, what's up guys? It's Rachel and today I am excited because I have another thrift haul for you. It's been a few weeks since I've been out thrifting. I uh, have had so much inventory here already to get through and life has just been busy with wedding planning and all that. So um, I'm excited to finally show you some new inventory that I handpick sourced myself. Um, so if you're new here, thank you for watching. Um, I am a part-time reseller, so I go to thrift stores and I find items that I can buy and then resell online on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kitizen. So all of what I'm showing you today are items that I intend to post online and resell for a profit. So let's dive right in. Um, I bought a few things this time around that I normally wouldn't pick up or that I've never picked up before, some hard goods, some toys. So I'll go over that stuff in the end. I'm going to start with clothes, which is what I do most. So my favorite find, I think, um, are these rag and bone jeans. They are Nina high rise skinny. They're size 28. I paid up for these. Um, and by paid up, they were $8. Um, my Goodwill does blanket pricing, so they um, all jeans are eight dollars, no what, no matter what brand they are. And so there's very few that I would pick up for eight dollars. Normally, I go through the jeans on like half price, or I'm looking on Dollar Day. Um, but I paid the full eight dollars for these. Um, normally, I would send these to right to the real real because they accept this brand, but. Um, I don't know. I might actually list these. They seem like a more current style. I might see how I do with them myself first. If you guys are interested, I do um, send a lot of stuff to the Real Real, and I made a video on how I use the Real Real in my reseller business, which I'll put here for you guys if you want to take a look and see um, what that's all about. This is super fun. This is a Neiman Marcus silk blouse. So, I don't know. I don't know why I picked this up. It's one of those things, like, maybe it's the color. It just, I was drawn to it. It's Neiman Marcus. It's new with tags. It's probably vintage. Um, just looking at the tag, I mean, this thing's got to be pretty old. But it's 100% silk. It's this gorgeous color. And it is missing one button. But, I don't know. I feel like something like this would still sell. Um, I paid $6 for it, so I guess we're going to find out. That's just one of those things that like, I don't know, I took a chance. Every trip I do kind of mostly pick up things I'm familiar with, but then I try to take a chance on a couple things. That's how I learn and grow and um, just, you know, continue to evolve my business. So this is an REI t-shirt. I think it's a men's t-shirt actually. Uh, it's a size medium, but it's it's got to be a men's medium. So right now, especially, so just in general, um, the the outdoor brands, REI, Patagonia, North Face, um, Prana, brands that I always pick up or, or frequently pick up, you know, the outdoor sports and activities are really hot right now. And a lot of the outdoor brands are sustainable and they're expensive to buy at full price. So they have decent resale value. So if you find any of the outdoor like hiking brands or fishing, uh, I would suggest taking a look at those. They typically sell for me pretty quickly. This is a Magashoni or M Magashoni sweater. It's a, like a cardigan. So I thought this was really nice. Um, I found this brand a couple times before. It's a higher end brand. It's got these pretty zippers. Nice layering piece, but it's not like a super heavy sweater. So by the way, I'm notorious for shopping in the off season. I know it's springtime, but I probably will source my fair share of sweaters and jackets this time of year. Um, you know, people donate it. They think they're not going to wear it again next year. And then it's the less frequented section of the thrift store at this point because everybody's kind of looking for those summer items. So for me, it's a great time to get in the off-season items and start looking for what's going to sell for me in the fall. Like this. This is a Gap. 
I think it's wool. It's got to be. It feels like wool. Uh, yeah, it's well, it's a wool blend, but this is a like a wool blazer jacket. Um, brand new with tags. It's an extra small, but I got it at half price. So this was three fifty, dollars and um, we'll see how that does. That's, that's a great uh, career piece. It's nice and warm and thick. Let's see if we can sell it in June. <laughs> you never know. This is a Madewell sweater. So it's got sort of like a mock neck, um, balloon sleeves. This is a uh, small. This one was also half price for me, so it was six dollars or three dollars. Love me some Madewell sweaters. I'd probably keep that if it was my size. It's adorable. So I love these. These are in season now. So this is Lafayette 148. This is a sort of um, it's like a spring jacket. Almost it's like not quite a blazer, not quite a jacket, but it's really lightweight, silky. Um, it's got this uh, snap front. So yeah, I would say really great layering piece. Uh, oh, it's linen blend. So yeah, it's definitely a summer piece. Um, probably going to send that to the real real. Stay tuned for my June um, real real video. And uh, I don't know, actually, I might do a second one for May. Um, I've got a, a bunch of stuff going out anyway. So um, this is also Lafayette 148 size four. So this is like a, a raincoat maybe, or it's a really lightweight jacket. It's not, it doesn't feel like linen like the other one. No, this is polyester, but the color, love this color. That should sell pretty quickly. This one um, was $7, but I'm okay with that. This is my third and I think final Lafayette 148 find from this trip. So this is like an orange, this is just probably cotton. It's a cardigan layering piece, but it's like ribbed. This one I think was half price too, which is why I picked it up. Uh, yeah, this was $3. So this one I'll probably send to the real real. I uh, wouldn't list that myself. So this I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys is probably a Bolo brand. This is Matilda Jane, if you haven't um, ever heard of it. It is a boutique -y, mostly kids brand. Uh, in fact, I think I learned about it from Kitizen and trying to sell on Kitizen. Um, but they do have like a, a mommy line or women's clothing line and um, it's pretty popular. So I actually did pay full price, my Goodwill's full price of $6 for this top. Um, but they retail for around $60 and they sell for 30 to 40. I would say um, this is a more current piece, so I should have no problem doubling or well, probably tripling or quadrupling my money on it. So I would say if you find Matilda Jane, um, if it's in good condition, don't pay it like an arm and a leg, of course, but like if you can find it at a decent price, I would say pick it up. Here's another one of my favorites to find, Mod Cloth. This is a 3X, so it's a great size, and it just says ABC, but it's a like a half length or half sleeve sweater. Um, Mod Cloth is another one. It, it doesn't, the, the retail value of it is not super high, but it has a great resale value, especially if you can find like a bigger size or something unique like that. So that was a good find. Um, this is a basic just theory top. Um, theory goes right to the real real for me, so I don't even know why I put this in here to show you guys, but $3 for me, I'll flip that probably quickly on the real real. So this was a fun find, and I have to actually look up and see what this is even worth, but this, the brand is Elizabeth and James, and um, it's this like white, I don't know if it's poplin, like the whole thing is like smocked and kind of stretchy, um, but this blouse, it's a size extra large. I looked it over. Um, I don't really see any flaws. There's a little tiny spot right here, but I mean, it's it's this beautiful crispy white blouse, perfect for the summer. Um, I have not found Elizabeth and James in the wild really. So I will have to look up and see exactly how to price this because I'm not really sure. This is one of my other favorite finds. Um, this is an equipment, equipment is the brand. 
This is a 100% silk polka dotted blouse. And it's gorgeous. It looks like it's never been worn. And the comps were pretty good on silk blouses from uh, equipment. I have, I, I will say that it, silk sometimes is hard to move, um, but I'm gonna give it a try. This one was $6, so I'll give it a shot. So I need your help with this one, guys. This is a rag and bone like blazer jacket. And I was super excited to find it because um, it's rag and bone. But the thing is, it's got this, like, I don't know what's going on in the front. I don't know. I feel like someone tried to maybe iron it or something and it ruined it. And the only reason I say that is because, like, it would be one thing if it was like that throughout, but it's not. It's like the sleeves and the back don't have that. It's just the front. So I kind of wonder if somebody, like, damaged it. Um, I, I probably am going to look up you know, if I can find this jacket, if it, you know, if in the stock photos, it looks like that, I'm good. It's supposed to be like that. Um, but if not, I might like just redonate this or take it back. It was half price too. And for something rag and bone to sit for five weeks to then go half price tells me that it's probably damaged because normally this brand would not sit that long. I mean, sometimes you get lucky, but mm, I don't know. This one, so this is another, I, I, I question the authenticity of this. It's Dolce & Gabbana and it's men's. Um, it just, it feels very lightweight. I have never found Dolce & Gabbana before, um, except one time I found a women's like cocktail dress and it, the fabric was super heavy and like really high quality, but it was like trashed. So I couldn't really bring it home to sell it. I mean, it was not in resellable condition, um, but that's the only other time I found this brand. Um, and this fabric just seems really light. Um, so I have to research this. If it is real, then I'm super excited and this is an awesome find, um, but I have to, um, you know, I have to realize this might not be authentic. And if it is not authentic, I will definitely not sell it. Even, um, even disclosing that it's not authentic. I'm, I'm very much against selling non-authentic items. So, um, I will see if I can find some comps on that or find, you know, if I can find pictures of the tag or if that style is, is, um, commonly faked i'll let you guys know check this thing out so this is a skirt um and it's got these tassels um it's sort of like mesh with tassels and and sequins so fancy so fun the brand is boston proper this the uh, size is 18 but it's new with tags this brand it does pretty well for me it's a made in the usa brand and um this is probably an older style, just looking at the tag, but I think being the size is a plus size and it's just fun. This is so fun. So um, it's one of those things that like caught my eye from the other side of the aisle. So uh, hopefully that does well. Um, and this is an exciting find too. And I actually kind of paid up for this as well. It was $11 for the two piece set, but these are figs scrubs this is a total bolo you guys if you can find figs scrubs um they are sought after they retail uh the, the retail is pretty high i mean not not like crazy high but the resale on these is really really good and so this is a two-piece set this is the top and the bottoms these are a men's medium i believe yeah. So that was an awesome find. I paid $11 for the set, but probably will list for, I don't know, maybe 60. I found figs only one time before and it was just the pair of bottoms and I sold them for $30, just the bottoms. So um, being that this is a set, it looks practically brand new. 
uh, I'm hoping I can get a little bit more and that the $11 was worth the investment. So that's all the clothing. Um, now I'm going to switch over to some other fun things that I picked up. I do have a couple pair of shoes and um, so I think I'm going to start there. I got these little baby vans. How adorable. They're dirty, but um, th it's totally just like local Georgia surface dirt. Um, nothing that won't come off very easily with um, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. So these are a, a little baby size or a toddler size seven. Um, I actually have a couple of other pairs of size seven toddler shoes listed right now. So that's good that I'm kind of finding stuff in the same size. Um, and then I got these, these are the cutest. They're, the brand is Saludos and I, um, I've only found this brand one other time before and I just listed them like last week so I still have them. But look at these cute little cacti succulents on the, on the foot here. These are a size nine and I mean, they're, they're barely worn. So I was excited about those. And check these bad boys out. <laughs> these are vans also. Um, they're a, <laughs> like a loafer, I guess. These are a women's size nine also. And I'm pretty sure these are brand new. These have never been worn. So that's exciting. Um, I have no idea what I can get for these, but probably a good amount because um, just of the fun pattern and the fact that they are new. So there's the shoes. And then these last couple of things I picked up, like literally just because I have been watching way too much YouTube and watched other people pick stuff like this up. I have no idea if it's worth anything. I have no idea if I'm actually going to be able to sell it, but I figured I need to get out of my comfort zone and start picking up some different things uh, and give it a try. So I happened to spot these things and um, I was excited to see what happens to them. So um, first things first, here I'll start with Starbucks mugs. Um, it's one of those things like I've, I've heard people on Instagram and on YouTube talk about like how much Starbucks mugs can be worth either like the ceramic mugs or like the plastic like um, I don't know like sippy with the straw you know um, I, I have kind of just always browsed the knickknack section or the housewares and I never really have seen them before but this week I found three of them um, this one is a pink it says 2007 and it's got like the the no slip grip and the um, metal kind of insulated um, bottom so this was 79 cents I figured there's not much harm in spending 79 cents to give it a try and then the other ones are these um, Christmas mugs and I got two of them I think it's cool that there's two I think a set is always really better than um, just one so these have a copyright of 2015 and they were $1.29 a piece so again I'll list those and see see what happens and then I got this okay so this is a lesson learned for me and so I'll share with you guys this is a Boyd's mohair bear it's vintage as far as I could tell based on comps um, it was only a dollar one so I figured I would pick it up I guess my Goodwill's blanket price for stuffed animals is a dollar one so that's what I paid for this and for any stuffed animals but I kind of now that I'm looking at it I think that this is like chewed like somebody's dog got a hold of this and chewed the ear in the foot so um I don't think I'm going to be able to sell it because it's chewed um so if you're gonna go crazy and start picking up things that you wouldn't normally pick up like stuffed animals make sure you check and make sure they're not chewed and, and somebody's former chew toy whoops all right and then I got these guys these are the last this is last but not least so I found not one but two of Build-A-Bears and I've heard people on YouTube talk about Build-A-Bears um the comps at first glance and it just very first glance didn't look crazy good on these but they were like $20 or so um this one is a Beauty and the Beast this is Belle um and this is 
it doesn't really have a specific style name, but it is a Build-A-Bear. So um, again, they were a dollar, a dollar one. <laughs> so I figured I would give it a try. Um, they're great condition. No complaints on the condition. Uh, so yeah, so they're so soft. Yeah, so I'll give these a try. My first time selling plush, uh, never really went there before, but I will see how it goes. So that's everything, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff in my inventory and uh, hopefully get it listed on my reseller platforms within the next couple of days. I hope you enjoyed watching what uh, came out of my last Goodwill trip and uh, definitely subscribe. I post reseller content. I'm shooting for twice a week, so it would really help me out if you subscribed to my channel. Drop this video a like and uh, let me know that you'd love to see more thrift hauls and reseller content. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.